me today. Thanks um, for having me. <laughs> a little bit about Raising Three Savvy Ladies is about um, my daughters. Uh, it's, it's about 10 years now that the blog has been going. So they're 18, 15, and 12. So I feel like we grew up with Blue's Clues, uh, all the way from Steve to Joe and now Josh. And um, to continue in that tradition, I'm, I'm in addition to blogging, I'm also a kindergarten teacher. So, so Blue's yes. Clues is still a part of my life. Um, you know, all the time. So my first question is, um, how was it working with the famous Blue? <laughs> oh, Blue, in the beginning, I didn't know Blue was a girl. <laughs> so I was in shock when they told oh. me, Blue is not a boy, it's a girl. I love the dog. I love Blue. Um, <laughs> yeah, so cute. Very. What, what drew you to wanting to join Blue's Clues and become Josh's Lola? Um, it was actually through an audition process. My agent said, you have a children's audition to do. I was doing a matinee theater show. And she says, right after the show, you need to go across town, go do this audition. Here's the lines. There's a song. You know, it doesn't matter. Just, just make up a melody to the song. It was a closing song. Oh. <laughs> um, just make up a, make up a melody. They just want to see you. I did it. And then I get a call back for a chemistry audition with Josh. Now that was nerve wracking because that was in the actual studio with the green screen in back. We did a little bit of the Bibinka show, the baking show. Yes. And we just clicked. Josh is just brr, huggable. He is, what you see on, on screen is who he is on, on the streets. Really nice guy. Made me feel comfortable. And we just clicked. And there we go. Wonderful. That's when I realized it was Blue's Clues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. So how is it being Josh's Lola? I mean, you know, when you're working together um, and oh. having that experience. I love it. I love it. I love uh, walking into the studio and he's there and, and it, it, it lights up and, and the, the crew and everybody, it, it's just one big family. And of course, the subject matters and, and the representation reaching out to all cultures, all children, just widening horizons. This is a forward show. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So speaking of widening horizons, and, and you mentioned the babinka already. So I wanted to know, do you enjoy baking babinka as much as Lola does? Um, I don't bake, but I enjoy eating Eat babinkas. <laughs> Very I have lots of good friends who bake them. I go to their house and just gorge myself on the babinka. <laughs> Is the babinka the type of food that um, would like brings people together? Um, like, like I know, yeah, like certain cultures, there's always something that is a, is a special, um, you know, like an occasion or a gathering. Um, does that have any significance in, in your life, a special babinka moment? For, for me, a babinka moment would be holidays, Christmas. Um, it has a texture like cornbread, so it can be savory and sweet. So it, it, it's holiday baking, the smell, everything. That's my bibinka. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, you mentioned before about the green screen when you went in yeah. on your audition. And I love like hearing the technical, um, like the background sometimes. So you mentioned the song that you sang at the end and it looks like you're looking right there at Blue. Like, can you talk a little bit about that experience? And um, was that something new for you or um, the singing with Josh and Blue um, at the end of the episode? Um, as an actor, I've done other green screen work, so I had an idea of what was going on, um, but the directors are, are kind enough to, to let us act away. Uh, in that particular um, closing song, where Lola just let, lets it rip and she just sings and blues jumping, um, they followed my lead at the end when I would look all over. I look all over and they, they drew blue, blue all over oh, me. To go. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, the other question I noticed, um, I read that your production company um, gave you opportunities to pay it forward yes. um, with, with your acting experiences. And I feel like that's a big like theme with random acts of kindness. And I was just thinking mm -hmm. of what, was there a special moment that you'd like to share 
that you had at that pay it forward experience that you were able to share with others? Um, there are so many, but in general, it's, it's when we see the person who receives it, we see the reaction that always gets me um, because, you know, we're creating a show um, we're generating revenues. Part of the profits go to a charitable organization. That's the business part, but the human part is where where it really means a lot. So when I see someone come up to me after a show and say thank you, but not just a regular thank you for the show. It's thank you because of your show. I got this, or it helped me do that or it, it pushed me forward. That is priceless to me. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, my, my next question is, um, so you, you mentioned representation earlier. And um, so my question is, what do you hope that the preschool viewers and their families learn most from this episode? And you being Josh's Lola, um, and that, that it broadens in, in their life as well. So I'd love to hear more about what your goals and what you would hope would happen in this Blue's Clues experience? I think the children and the family, just the show Blue's Clues, it already opens their hearts to acceptance, acceptance of others, inclusion of others, um, and identification. A child doesn't know what a Filipino is, but a child knows the difference um, but to make, make a bridge, change that bridge rather of difference into an, a, a form of acceptance. They see someone with black hair, different color skin, um, and it's okay. The normalization of difference. I think that's what, what I hope that this show will continue on with. Thank you. Uh, my, my next question is about, um, I know that you sing the blues, and being with Blue, do you think you'd have the opportunity to sing some of the blues with Blue? Um, <laughs> how, how do you think that would go? <laughs> Actually, um, my intonations when I sing is, it comes from the blues. Um, even the closing song, there is a way to sing it, but the mu Mus musically oriented people hear the blues coming in in the way I deliver the song. It's already there. Wonderful. Um, uh, the, the last thing that I wanted to ask about is um, where do you see, so being that you're Josh's Lola and um, does it, do, you, do you see more episodes in the future um, interacting with Josh and Blue? And more. <laughs> and more. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you taking the time. Um, I can't wait to share with my readers and my kindergartners um, about this experience. And I um, appreciate uh, you meeting with me today. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you.